Good day fellow investors. Gold is always an interesting topic to discuss and in this video I want to discuss a gold mining stock, land in gold and then also give some color on investing in the sector and generally in gold miners at this moment in time. I've got the idea to analyze landing as I have looked at more than 3,500 small caps and landing gold is part of the world small cap ETF. So I said, okay, let's make a video on one of these companies that I have analyzed, selected the best and landing gold is an interesting investing proposition. And if we look at at the stock price of London Gold, we can see that it was around $5 and now as gold prices have jumped from $1,100, $1,300 to close to $2,000, the stock just doubled. Well, while when it comes to gold miners, as there have costs, when gold prices jump, their margins should explode on the higher and therefore the stock should be more volatile than gold prices. This didn't happen here and therefore I would really like to discuss this also as an opportunity for those interested in following this but also giving you my risk and reward perspective. If we look at gold over the last five years it has really boomed here since when it was clear that the Fed will not be able to increase interest rates and that the monetary experiment we are in will likely continue forever and that was emphasized here after the new injections of money and the currency sacrification that we will have to do as developed countries. However, this has then almost doubled and now it is, let's say here, trading between 1800 and 2000, depending on the sentiment. So where will gold go next? I wish I knew. But as the Fed is printing money, so this should, with ups and downs, depending on sentiment, reflect what gold usually is. And that is a counter to the quantity of money in the system. And as gold has almost doubled, so also London gold did something here with the stock price but the company actually did much more so let's look at the business. Now London Gold owns one mine in Ecuador and it is now in production since recently and therefore we can look at the cash flows at the production costs and then how this reflects an investing opportunity. So London is mostly owned by the London mining family. They are active in uh, many mining fields and usually they have been okay with shareholders. So nothing much to be afraid there. And now the company is turning into a cash flow king. Therefore, that's what makes it interesting for an investing perspective. You can own gold and also get a 5% dividend. So this is the mine Fruta del Norte. I don't know if that is uh, fruit from the north. Let me know. And this is the mine, 340,000 ounces per year in production, gold, gold grade. 13 years of life of mine at current status, they're always researching and drilling for expanding that life of mine. And they have been usually successful within the London mining family. So if they can do that, that really increases the value of this, but it is not priced in. The risk is, of course, whatever happens in Ecuador. And you can see here the production, they are doing really, really well. The numbers are okay and if they keep that up then also the cash flow should be okay even especially with the higher gold prices. Keep in mind they built this mine assuming 1200 gold we are now at 1800 and this is perhaps the most important chart when it comes to gold miners. You want safety, you want a business that makes money no matter what the gold environment is. So the costs, the all-in sustaining costs for mining are around 700 and you can see where they are on the curve, really on the low end of the curve. So that is always a thing that lowers the risk Unfortunately, also the reward because the best buy if gold goes to 3000 is this producer because he's not making money now, but will make a lot of money when 3000 gold comes, if 3000 gold comes. And this is the assumptions 400 
thousand ounces of gold at the cost of 900 which means that they make half in profits pay taxes so they will make 400,000 times 900 500 let's they will make 250 million in cash flows 300 million in free cash flows per year and that's exactly what they say given the cost they will even lower likely the cost as mining is ramped up sustaining capital will decline so really really good from a cash flow perspective and that's the investment idea so free cash flow yield of 14 percent which is much much higher than whatever you have with other miners out there because maybe the mine is not yet recognized from wall street and that is usually the case because investors want to see it actually happening notifications don't really matter in the mining world don't have help that much and they are going to use the cash flows to pay dividends now to grow invest and also to repay the debt they have about 700 million of debt and the dividend is announced now forward to be 100 million so so that is approximately a 5% dividend yield on current prices. Not bad for a gold miner. They're always exploring near the mines. That's typical London. And you can see here how the grade is really good. Of course, with this high grade, they can always be ups and downs. So that's also something to keep in mind from a risk perspective as it was the case with the Bruce Jack mine if that was from Pritium if I remember well. So from a valuation perspective the market cap is around 2 billion and if you make 300 billion dollars in free cash flows that's a 15% free cash flow yield for the next 10-13 years likely 20 years as that's always what London does they drill drill when they have the need to bring more to production. The key risk of course is gold prices. If gold prices drop to 1500 then also the cash flows drop but still then you have a 7% cash flow yield that is enough to sustain the dividend for example so it all depends of course it depends of gold prices but you have to see how something like this fits your portfolio i usually always say that gold miners are better than gold because gold is not producing anything gold miners give you that dividend that earnings but of course move much more than gold if gold goes down 30 percent landing gold will go down 60 70 percent that's a given now with inflation everyone is saying invest in gold gold ray dalio says 15 percent of gold in your portfolio and i always think if i have a miner i can lower that to five percent because miners are more volatile if those go down I bring it back to 5% and you allow the 10% for something else. So that's also something when it comes to investing in gold and if you need exposure with gold. I don't have any exposure with gold. So I like to look at gold when nobody likes it as it was the case in 2017-18. We made some good money on those gold miners. So that's it for now. I'm always looking, I'm always analyzing. This looks interesting. Then I compare it with all the other things I have on my research platform and then I decide whether it is something or not. But I hope I have given you some indications into what investing in gold is. Maybe discovered a new interesting proposition for you with London Gold. If you enjoyed this video on the stock analysis, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video.